Hamilton. Today I am going to be making a super simple but highly requested video for arroz rojo or that orangey red rice you get at taco places and Mexican restaurants. A lot of people think that it's like difficult to make or something fancy and I know that before I actually learned how to make it I tried like 20 different things and was using Goya Sazon packages to make it orange and it just was a mess. So anyways, I'm going to share my authentic recipe now. The ingredients we are going to be using are regular uh, Himalayan pink salt, nor Suiza, which in case you haven't watched my other videos, this is just chicken bouillon powder and it's very common in Mexican recipe well, recipes. Uh, next we have half of an onion, two Roma tomatoes, and a piece of garlic, and I've just cut those into large chunks because we're going to put them in the blender. In this bag, I have about the equivalent of a cup of diced peas and carrots, but you can use any frozen mixed veggies you want or even fresh ones. This is just what I have on hand. We're going to be using two cups of water, one cup of rice, and then some type of oil that has a high smoke point. So I'm going to be using avocado oil, and then we are going to be using our Nutribullet or your blender. So give me a second to get the ingredients in the blender, and in the meantime, I'm going to be tossing some avocado oil into my pot, and I will be back with the next step. Okay, so in the blender, you'll notice I don't have any liquid. That's because the tomatoes are watery, and we don't want this uh, sofrito kind of thing to offset the amount of liquid we're going to be adding to our rice. So we just have the onions, the piece of garlic, and the tomato, and then I went ahead and added two teaspoons of North Suiza and a half a teaspoon of salt, and I'm going to blend this on the Nutribullet until it is a puree and you can't see any more chunks. And then I've had my avocado oil heating up on like medium high heat. Uh, you want the oil to be nice and hot because we are going to toast our rice. So this is one cup of rice. You toss that in. Grab a spoon. Sorry, the girls are watching a yet another Halloween show. It is January and we are still watching Halloween in our house. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue to stir this around until the rice is nice and toasted and turns a different color. You're definitely going to know when it's done because it is going to be golden and not white anymore. So now that it's all mixed up and evenly coated with oil, I'll be back in a flash when the liquid is blended. It's actually called the recaldo when you make this, so when, when that is blended and when the rice is toasted. Okie dokie, so we are back. It's kind of hard to see with the white balance on these videos all the time, but the rice has toasted. Here, we'll do it like that. And it is a different color. It is toasted. And then I've removed the rice from the heat, and I'm just gonna continue to stir it. That is a huge tip whenever you're toasting either rice or uh, like if you're making sopa de fideo and you're toasting your pasta, you kind of have to stir continuously because there will be pieces that will get burned. So I'm just kind of letting this calm down because we are going to dump in our tomato mixture, which looks like this. It's pretty smooth. You don't see any chunks. I mean, maybe there's a couple of seeds in there, but that's no big deal. So if we were to dump this in while it was on the flame, it would like explode and splatter everywhere and it still may splatter everywhere. So bear with me. We're all right. Be careful. Whew. Okay. Sorry, one-handed filming is a little hard. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this flame back on medium. And we are actually gonna stir fry this until it dries up and until the rice absorbs all of this liquid because whenever you cook rice, it's double the amount of liquid to water. But now we're adding in liquidy recaldo, which would be too much liquid and it's too hard to measure it out and figure it out. So you need to dry the liquid out of these seasoning veggies. And my babies, what are they doing? Let's see what they're doing. Why are you opening the front door? You don't open the front door. All right, people, I'll be back. Crisis averted. So this is what you're looking for. So as you can see, the rice went ahead and absorbed all of the liquid from the tomato and onion mixture. And now we're ready to add the remainder of our ingredients. So to take advantage of like whatever tomato crap was left in there, I just added the two cups of water and the veggies to this. And now we're going to go ahead and dump it in. 
And I'm going to try to get all that tomato stuff. And that tomato stuff. Okay, so I did measure these veggies. It was about a cup of vegetables. Get everything stirred up and mixed in. We're going to throw the flame on high to bring this to a boil. And then once it comes to a boil, we're going to put the lid on it. We set the timer for 15 minutes, and then we're going to reduce the flame to low and let it simmer away. I guess I will be back when it's done. No, actually I'll be back when I'm setting it because there's one more thing I have to tell you. Our rice has returned to a boil. Like I said, pop the top on. We're gonna go ahead and lower this to like right about there, like medium low, and set our timer for 15 minutes and then after the 15 minutes has elapsed I just am gonna want you to turn off the heat and then let it sit covered for five additional minutes and the next clip we'll be back to show you the finished product and also too at this point you know before you cover it if you wanted to you could taste the liquid but this measurement of salt in North Suiza is perfect so, so you can just try it has been longer than five minutes for me because I was cooking Stuff for fajitas it's gonna be awesome uh, so this has sat so it could absorb the rest of the steam and now we're just gonna go ahead and as you can see there's no water left in the bottom of the pot I'm gonna fluff it with a fork to incorporate the veggies because they do all end up coming to the top while it's boiling oh man this looks really really good Okay, so there is a ton of steam. I'm going to go ahead and reco recover this until I'm done with the rest of dinner. But I will get it in a bowl and get it plated and on the table so you can see a better view of the finished okay, product. So this is our finished product of our rice. As you can see, it's nice and moist. It sticks together. I just put it in a little half cup measuring cup and then press it to the plate. <clears throat> Excuse me, and that's how I get it to come out looking fancy like that. And then we're having it with chicken fajitas tonight. I just use the McCormick seasoning package and pretty much follow the directions, and it makes really good fajitas, so that's just a little week night hack I like to use. And then can I see my fork for a second? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> nice and tender rice, and it's delish. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope this inspires you to try to make arroz rojo because it's not as difficult as everybody thinks. And if you like this recipe, if you could like and subscribe, that would be great. And if you end up making it, come back and leave a comment so I know what you think. Have a great night.